this video, I want to show you how to use a solid model as the stock and some advantages for doing so. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a solid model. So I'm going to go grab a solid works part that I have on my desktop and open it. And I'm going to bring it into milling. So the first thing is the part comes in. And really quick, I'm just going to shrink wrap my regular stock around the outside, put my origin in the corner, and then I will change the stock to the solid model. So I'm going to use the wizard. My Z direction is OK. Next. My X direction is OK. Next. I want to block the stock. Next. I'm just going to compute stock from the size of the part without adding any extra material so it shrink wraps it around the outside and i'm going to throw my origin in the upper left hand corner there and i'm not doing any fourth or fifth so i'll go ahead and say finish so right now my stock is nothing more than this rectangle that's the same size as my part well what i want to do is change this solid model to my stock and then just to show you, I'm just going to break the edge of this top of the uh, pocket there. So I'm going to go to my stock properties by double clicking here. Tell it that rather than a block around or inside, I have a user defined stock. And then I can tell it the stock is this solid. Okay. Okay. So you can kind of see when I highlight the stock here, it kind of takes on that shape there. Now I'm just going to quickly break the edge of this top. So the way I'm going to do it is go to my curve wizard, curve from surface. I'm going to do trimmed edges next. I will pick this top surface. It highlights all the edges. By default, it highlights the outside edge. I'm going to tell it, no, I want this edge here and finish. So I've just created a curve along that top edge. I'm just going to select that curve right there. And I'm just going to put a quick chamfer on there. This curve, uh, which side do you want to break? I want to cut the inside, if you will. Next, I'm not offsetting the curve. Um, let's just do 20 thousandths, finish. So right now, if I simulate this in 3D, and I'll slow it down a little bit and play. You can see that my stock takes on that solid model. And when you simulate it, you get a more realistic looking representation of what it looks like. 